What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you Hoop Forms Best Episode 1. If you haven't seen the tournament tree, it will be in the description. 16 players, this is the cheap striker edition, and the first game was between Welbeck and Slamani. I have already played the games and I do already know who's won, so I'm not going to show you the records or anything because that kind of might give it away. But um, yeah, I've built a very solid team, 4 3 1 2. And uh, yeah, obviously, the main idea, if you don't know, I'll briefly go through it now. I play three games and then the match ratings of each of the three games for these two players are taken. I get an average, and whoever comes out with the highest average moves on to the quarterfinals. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into the gameplay. Obviously this is a tournament formula and I've got to play with each of the 16 strikers but I don't think these are a good matchup like they didn't seem to complement each other I didn't really enjoy playing with them and um, they had their moments but I think individually they can probably be good but I just don't think they worked as a partnership overall for me of course that's not what we're actually doing we're finding out which one performs better which is why I've gave a relatively super team behind them but um yeah, Danny Welbeck opens the scoring. Well, he didn't actually. My opponent did, but then Danny Welbeck gets an equaliser there. Slomani bursts through, and uh, that was probably the fastest he's looked in this entire thing. He gets an assist, uh, passing that off to Gilfie Sigurdsson. And then Slomani again doing well to get around the player. And then that's probably the best goal this episode, to be fair. It's a very nice finish from Slomani. Their, their finishing was very temperamental. You'll see a couple of misses that I show. That's a brilliant goal from my opponent, to be fair and it did finish 3-2 so on to game two standardized Serie A team nothing amazing there it's uh, relatively cheap Alexandro might be one of the most uh, expensive players in that team but anyhow I begin the break Pogba here loses the ball but he gets it back uh, Welbeck slots it through to Pogba he does very well here to get round the, the player and then in that scenario Pogba is not going to miss but we do get another chance in the 77th minute. I think Slomani bursts through, takes a shot. It's unfortunately deflected straight to the goalkeeper. And then in the 89th minute, Slomani again doing some, uh, well, I was going to say doing some good work. That doesn't really make any sense. Good work there. Welbeck just can't find the finishing. Uh, like the, fi the finish. Yeah, the finish. But uh, the finishing was poor from uh, Slomani and Welbeck overall. I'd say... <sighs> Sometimes, honestly, they were they were just un inconsistent, I would say, uh, as a partnership, which is why I didn't find them terrific, but of course one of them will go through, and um, yeah, that's a good finish from Pato to make it 1-0 for him. Bruno, I gave him far too much space, and Bruno's got a lethal shot, uh, uh, well, long-range shot, as I'm sure you're aware, but anyway, I get back in it there with a header from Welbeck from a corner, then I give the ball to Paul Pogba, he finds... Slomani bursting through the thing is neither of these had like blistering pace which is why I found it a problem but Slomani with another cracking assist there for Paul Pogba to slot that in but unfortunately my opponent makes it 4-2 winning the ball back just outside my own half and uh, he, he gets through again sorry it was 3-2 but he's going to make it 4-2 there with a nice finesse perhaps to here probably should have done a bit better there but anyway Welbeck passes it off to Slomani I, I'm not giving up here and Slomani's very unlucky there to see it hit off the post in the 75th minute i get a corner it's off the post cleared off the line smalling with a ridiculous header there from one yard out to make it 4-3 and that is how that game finished so on to the match ratings for welbeck and slomani in game one welbeck got a 9.1 and slomani a 9.2 that was incidentally their best game Moving on to game two, Welbeck got a 7.9 and Slomani a 7.7, .7, so it's looking extremely close at the minute. Heading on to game three, 8.6 for Danny Welbeck and a 7.9 for Slomani. So although I didn't really like them as a partnership overall, they did kind of get high ratings, so maybe I'm moaning just a little bit too much, but I don't know. Anyway, the average is 8.26 for Slomani and 8.53 for Welbeck. So that does mean that Danny Welbeck is the victor for this episode. So he is the first quarter finalist in this tournament. I'll bring out episode two in a few days. I'll try and do this twice a week. It might be once a week for some weeks because there's a lot of squad building challenges, squad builders and all that, that um, if you haven't checked out, check out my channel if you're in interested, I suppose. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.